Hello everyone, and today we are back with Alien Isolation. I don't really have much to say, so I'm just gonna jump straight to the gameplay. So, right, we had to find an elevator to season communications. Which, if I remember, was this way. To the left. Now, there's gonna be that one girl that goes pew pew. She actually hit me. I wasn't expecting Guys, that. Over here. So Alrighty, let's do it. An access to her. She was trying to hack the elevator's security. Circuits are for our easy fix. She seemed to find them in the data cell. Alright, so we just have to find the data cell thingy. So, I'm guessing we have to like go over to that big room over there, right? Okay. We find her, we and then these, I think it's three, right? Because there's the girl and then the other two that were kind of just like, this bam, way. middle. She was downstairs. See anything yet? <laughs> Look at that. You noticed it. Getting colder. Oh, then. I think we have to go in that room there, right? Wait, there's also there's also a guy there. I saw him at the door. What do we do about him? Him. Nothing? Okay. Do we go in there? Or is that door still locked? I'm not really sure. Come on. Someone will send help soon. Wait. That's green. Don't see me. Okay. Well, this is new. I don't think this room was unlocked before. I don't know if we're safe to run. I think she went downstairs. Come on. Uh oh. I'm not going down there. No way. She's got your hack tool. It didn't work. We'll find another way up. We've been here too long already. Uh. Well, they won't follow me down here for some reason. So that's not exactly the most reassuring thing. Uh. <laughs> There's something down here. There's gotta be. I thought I heard other footsteps and I got confused for a sec. Okay. What was that noise? Oh jeez, it's like a maze in here. <laughs> it's dark as well. So we have to use our flashlight, that's great. Don't tell me we can climb as well, okay. Is that unlocked? I don't know. I, I kind of feel lost. You know? Yeah, device invalid, so you can't do that yet. What is that noise? It sounds like a drill. Don't think I want to be messing with that. I don't know. What's that? Wait. Oh. It's like one of those vents where our buddy died from. That's reassuring. Does this turn on? No. I'm hearing a lot of weird things. Uh, 
Oh, there's a revolver. I don't know how I didn't see that. Six bullets. Okay. Take that. Key card. Alright, we can use our key card here. Cool. I just had to look at the map for that. But I just... I just... Don't know. I just really don't think we're... Alone right now. Smoke bomb. Awesome. Oh god. My guy is dead. Like, we're definitely just not alone here, you know? We're not. We're not. But we're flashbane. Ooh. Oh god. The flight recorder. Oh boy. Don't make noise right now. Stay focused. What's that? What's happening? Oh. That's the thing that we need. I'm actually like so stupid today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still kind of feel drained from school, so... My brain is, like, half working right now. She needs a post system with mouse and use move keys and E to enter to code showing. What? Wait. Oh. Okay, I see, I see. Like the little top part right there. Then, bam. That's interesting. Actually, I kind of like that, yeah. I still refuse to believe the fact that we're alone here. And I don't know if that means I should take it slow and study or not. There we go. <coughs> Ouch, sorry. Okay. Personal archives. To W Chief Porter at Sevastopol Terminals. Chief, the good news is that I'm about 80% through archiving Sevastopol's internal mall mail system for the decommissioning. It's been disconnected from Apollo, but I've left the basic messaging system in place for the people still here. The bad news is whoever set it up in the first place skipped on the hardware and we've had some leaks. I've got Mike Tanaka looking into it now. He's a specialist activist we called in. Seems to know a shit. Just thought I'd better give you a heads up in the meantime, Franco. Okay. An outpost of progress one. Sebastopol, an outpost of progress. Desolation through isolation. <laughs> That's kind of catchy. The space station that nobody needed, run by a company we all forgot. Sevastopol is now a backwater. The population is a tenth of the station's optimal capacity. Docking bays are empty, and the shutters are down on local stores and businesses. The orders for Zeegzen's cheaply manufactured androids have long since dried up, and the antiquated Apollo governor and AI system frequently malfunctions. How did we get here? And more importantly, where have billions of dollars of investment gone? My name is Julia Jones, and I have lived on Sevastopol for two months compiling the support for the Colonial Times, discovering the price our second-tier corporations have paid for their overexpansion during the race into the Outer Rim. 
nothing in audio. Nothing in utility. Cool. <laughs> oh. We'll just keep looking. But I still feel like there's a fucking alien just stalking us. Like, I, I heard it. I know I did. I'm not crazy. But, like... Uh, Flashlight batteries, we love those. Message from Marshall Waits. This is Chief Quarter and Tech Support. Look, there's nothing on this flight recorder, Waits. We've broken God knows how many corporate confidentiality agreements and come up with zip. Nothing except the Wayland Yutani logo and an empty readout. Now these things are built to last. So either someone on board the Nostromo asked its mother corps to wipe it clean. Or somehow the data's been corrupted before it got here. Care to fill me in on why this was a priority job? Okay. Disable security lockdown. Awesome. In the vent. What did I fucking say? We were being stalked. I knew I heard the bitch. I knew I heard him. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Finally, we get to see the stupid Xenomorph. I think I heard him jump back up into the vent. So I'm just gonna go through here. That way we get to avoid the overhead vent. And then... Hopefully this gate should be open now. We can just walk through, right? Avoid the overhead vent. We'll walk back up. And uh, we'll pray that it doesn't come for us. I actually really like doing that thing, I don't know why. Whoa. <laughs> it's an angie boy. This doesn't feel very, uh, safe. I heard him. Dude, I can hear him. Let's get done. Oh shit. Open, open, open. I want to get away from that vent, dude. 
go, 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 go. <laughs> Dude, that was the alien. That's so cool. Honestly, I can see that being super <laughs> scary. It's like you're just vibing and all of a sudden you just hear it. Well, we had our first actual encounter with the alien, though, so that's cool. Hello? My name's Ripley. Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. Uh... So that's... One of the androids they were talking about from earlier? Interesting. Wait, that isn't human. I thought you were a Can human. I, help you? I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. Dude, he's stretching. Why does an android need to stretch? What? I wouldn't advise it. I wouldn't advise it. Shush. I do what I want. I ain't gonna let any robot thing tell me what to do. Oh, we need that ion torch thingy, wherever we get it from. Motion tracker. Some kind of tracker. It's Ooh. been modified. Wait, that's cool, that's cool. I can see that coming in use. No, no problem. Okay. Yeah, that thing will be useful. Terminal. More reading, yay. Uh, door override. Hughes, I put a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. Don't want any accidents, so figure what's going on here. Chief, no such file. Our manifesto first published in Ion Seekson. We don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. Here in Seekson, every new te technology, research project, and discovery is driven to find real-world applications to help you. We hope you'll join us for the journey. Tomorrow together, number one. Together tomorrow. Seekson's journey into colonial space and unofficial history by Sebastian Sieg, first printed in Ion Seekson. Our origins in space. 2034 changed everything. The advent of faster-than-light travel puts Eason, then known as Sieg and Sun, on the path to, path to success. Sorry, I'm still brain dead. Uh, the race into space began in earnest and under the steady hand of our founder, Josiah Sieg. Our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. Sieg and Sun built the components that enabled ships to extend colonial space beyond the solar system. As history relates, Wayland Corporation or Wayland Corp was reluctant to share its FTL technologies with other corporations. Fortunately, Josiah Sieg was on hand to speculate, innovate, and produce. Without Sieg and Son, the skies would have looked very different indeed. Please wait, understand. Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Sieg's in communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. Please understand, this is our best shot. Someone's got to reestablish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. Don't worry about me. Okay. Door access. Yeah, that's what we need. Hopefully, Mr. Robot Android thingy doesn't get angry. Uh. 
Okay, good. We get to save. I was getting nervous. I don't want it just like something bad to happen. I'll have to go all the way back to when we first saw the alien. Although I wouldn't mind that. Because I love the alien. Is it just another android? Yeah. Dude, that is menacing. <laughs> Let me in. I need to contact my ship. There's gotta be another way inside. Oh man. See, there's a problem here, because... Like, if we do this, then the androids are going to be angry at us, right? Supposing we've been logged in, they probably have an idea where we are at all times now. Because that's just how technology works. Oh, this is new. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, I'm a little nervous for what's to come. Let me pass. It's me, Hughes. Don't you recognize me? Listen to me. We've got to re-establish long-range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back. I'm warning you. Tut, tut. This is all this after you. See, that's what I'm saying. You do, like, what they don't want you to do, they're gonna get angry. And, like, they're androids. They're gonna be ruthless. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, indeed. Like, this is messy, you know? Oh no, there's a vent opening there as well. Okay, if this camera detects us, then uh, we're goners. Simple as that. Dude, this is so sketchy. What the heck? Ah. <laughs> go. Go. Open. Ah. Ah. Go, 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 go! <laughs> that was so sketchy. <laughs> Well, there's those 
Android dudes here as well. So if they see us here, uh, they're just gonna hammer us like that one dude. So this is, uh, no bueno. Let's do it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, so let's wait for him to move, then we can walk in here or whatever. Spotted, so that's not exactly good. Howdy, you need a hug. All right, so basically, if they grab you, then that's a no go. <laughs> and I now see that. I'll see that maybe I should have uh, played that a bit more carefully. Can we go under here? Boom. There, it's like we never existed or something. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> okay, I'm finally back here, and none of the weirdos saw me. That's what I'll call them for now. So yeah, that's good. So just for a little bit, we are safe. But probably not for long. Surveillance values enter to confirm. Like that. Boom. Okay. Use move keys to highlight values enter to confirm. This is interesting. Bam. And the third one. Press matching move keys when circuit is active. Shoot, I'm so good at this. Okay. I get it. I didn't get it at first, but then I understood. Samuels! You're alive! It's Ripley! Ripley! Taylor, it's Ripley. We were getting worried. We I thought... made it! Where are you? Uh, we're at the transit station now. It's right by medical. Okay. Samuels, listen to me. It's not safe here. Siegson's got this place locked tight. Their goddamn androids are killing people! That's impossible. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Siegson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature? It's a life form. A, an unknown type. Some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make- Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. Oh. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injuries. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. Okay, I'll come to you. 
Keep your eyes open. I'll send a traffic call to you. All right, cool. So this guy's coming now. Oh, there's two of them. This kind of sucks, doesn't it? I had to go grab food, now I have no idea where they are. Oh yeah, this does suck. Well, they're kind of slow, aren't they? So, worst case scenario, if they see me, I just run past. Alrighty. Alrighty, sorry about that. My mom was showing me that McDonald's gave her a Big Mac with no bun. Honestly, I think that is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. This wasn't smart. This wasn't smart to go in here at all. Can they see me in here? Bye-bye, nerd. Okay, now then, we have to return here and escape. Oh man, kind of scary, since we haven't saved in a while here. Luckily, we have the vent on our side here. All oh, right, my man is dead. L. Okay, okay. Oh man, it's dark. Nero. To go with that, that, okay. It's just like a straight shot almost. Whoa, that's an alien. The alien's not the only threat on board the station. Uh huh, no dirt. Well, shucks. I don't know, I didn't even think about the alien, dude. No, I'm all the way back here. I hate everything. Okay, we're back here, and this time I'll make sure the alien doesn't chomp us. Like, it was funny though. Like, I'll give it that. But, uh, I definitely don't want to repeat. I now see how obvious that is. Oh, shoot. Alright, yep, we're saving here. I don't care if hostiles are nearby. I just want to save. Let's go. Never have to sneak past those stupid things again for now. Never mind. It was a short-lived victory. Okay. Now I have to make it all the way to there. 
So just have to make it down this roundabout and then into the elevator. Okay. This might be tricky. I think I also hear the alien. Oh man. We have a situation. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> That's a problem. You can hear him, dude. He was close to that vent. Okay. I kind of feel safe in these little pockets. More or less. But, uh, I think we'll be fine. Uh. Yeah, he... Dude, look at how menacing that is. Oh man. We're just gonna run to the elevator. It was here. Right here. Go, 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 go. And we're good. We took one punch. Uh, luckily we do have the medkit thing. Man, that section was a lot easier, let me tell you. But, <laughs> it is kind of spooky being able to just hear the alien run walking around in the vents, though. But, I love it at the same time. Ugh. What are you doing? Wait, that's an android. Why is the android down here? No! Oh man. Okay. We just have to make it back there. So I'm just gonna dash. Cause, fuck this. <laughs> Done running. I know there's a save station here. Yeah. <laughs> You're my best friend, Bucker. Alrighty. Now which one? Transit to the something tower. Wait, which tower? To the Simed Tower. So, this one. Let's go. You know, this is neat. We're making. We're like actually gonna make it back to the Torrents. That's cool. But, uh, <laughs> oh man. We have. People against us, androids, and an alien. This sucks. Like, definitely ain't looking too good for us.
but man, do I love it. Shut up. <laughs> I'm working on it. But not today. So that's where I'm going to end it off for now. Because, uh, this kind of took me a lot of time. Mainly because I feel especially brain dead today. And I'm, I'm bad with uh, stealth type missions. So, yeah. But, I mean, today was good, though. I mean, we have android threats. We finally met the alien. So, the game's getting exciting. But that's all for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day and I'll see you next time. Peace.